Hello and welcome to Katawa Shoujo! Uh, yay! Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Applause, please. Some people couldn't make it, we'll be subbing in voices and out voices and whatever. But, bottom line is, it's been a couple months. We tried recording this a while ago and then we failed because my recording software messed up. So this is the second reading! I know. Yay! <laughs> a couple months? A couple months? It's, it, it's, it's like, it's like, you know. I don't care, it's, okay? It's, yeah. <laughs> I don't okay, care. So we have, we have Gavin Logan again. They're great. Hi! Yeah. I mean, it's because I, some voices. And, 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 what did, what did you say about my, my voice? It's great. No, 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 you said, you said something else that I quite liked. <laughs> it's great. No. I think the internet is fine with great. No. It's great. Let's Say go. It. Say and it. thus, we continue. Fucking damn it. Okay. Go ahead, Zen Man. It's okay, Yu Chan. He Chan didn't order anything, so it's not your fault. Don't be upset. It's I'm true. So upset. I guess I should order now, but I don't really know what this place serves, and there doesn't seem to be a menu. Yeah, she's right. I'll have some coffee and a uh, sandwich if you have one. Whichever sandwich you think is the best tasting one here, because Shizune is paying for my meal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> Shizune frowns and gives me alternating looks of surprise, indignation, and bemusement, unable to decide between the three. I, I imagine her face is just contorting constantly, just... <laughs> hey, John, just how much money do you have in your wallet? It can't be that little, right? Right? We should split the cost three ways to make it fair. Three way. Three way. Yeah, I won't accept anything else. Misha turns to Yuko. Yu-chan, Shi-chan says she wants three of whatever is the most expensive thing on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my god. Ha <sighs> ha ha! Just kidding, Hee-chan. Um, okay. I think I have the tur- I think that the turkey sandwich is the most delicious, and it comes with free soup. A good employee would try to recommend the item that's the most of, though, or the most expensive item. Am I bad at my job? No, that sounds yes. good. I'll have that. And some coffee. Okay. She comes back a few minutes later with her, our drinks and my sandwich. Shizune seems to be fine with just her tea, while Misha also ordered a parfait. I don't know why, because I can't imagine many of the things that could go worse with tea. Oh well. I take a bite out of my sandwich. It's very good. Hey, John, have you thought about joining the student council? Huh? Don't talk with your mouth full, he John. <laughs> I wash my food down with a sip of coffee, which is also surprisingly good. But now's not the time to remark on how this place has good food. You said you understood it was too early to expect me to make a decision this quickly. That was like three hours ago. A man should be decisive, Hee-chan. You really should join the student council, Hee-chan. Come on, it'll be fun. People always say, come on, it'll be fun, about things that are never, ever fun. Like jumping off a bridge. Don't you believe me, Hee-chan? Is it Shizune saying that? Or Misha? What a cute expression, but the effect is somewhat jarring, like she has split personalities. Uh... He chan that's depressing. We just want to spend time with you. That's right, chi chan Yeah, that's a good point, too. Yep, this is beneficial to everyone. It solves all our problems. Yeah, I also thought he chan would appreciate it. That makes me sad. Suddenly, I feel really left out. It's rude to talk about someone without letting them in in the conversation. Shizune adjusts her glasses, laughing to herself. Aw, oh, but it's true, Hee-chan. And you would be helping us out. Membership has been really low this year. Is it just those two? How low? Ah, oh, that's a <laughs> that, secret, Hee-chan. <laughs> now I want to know how low it was. How low is low? Ah uh -huh. Five? Lower? Well... 
zero. Wahaha! Hey, John, that isn't important. What matters is that the number is low, and that is why we would appreciate you giving us a hand, especially with the festivals coming up so soon. And it looks like a busy year ahead in general. So you're not going to answer my question? No. I sigh and straighten up in my chair, trying to look as defiant as possible, because it seems like a big issue, and I do not want to let it go that easily. I feel silly, like a blowfish. What, what, do you, what does he have against blowfish? <laughs> Fine, at least tell silly. me this. How many people are in the student council, total? Uh, well, Hee-chan, we're definitely under man, but we have enough members to get the job <laughs> done. Yep, yep. Answer the question! I fucking hate when my girlfriend does this shit. <laughs> It's not just the two of you, is it? Ha ha ha! He John, that's funny. But it's definitely not just us. Definitely. Are you if sure? You join, it will also be you. Are you absolutely sure? <laughs> yep. I stare at them both, trying to see if they will slip up and confirm my worst fears. Misha frowns, looking uncomfortable, but that's probably because I'm staring at her. Shizune, on the other hand, returns my gaze with one of her own. Maybe she has challenged me, challenging me, peering at me over the rims of her glasses like that. So teasing, and surprisingly immature, like a little girl beckoning someone to play with her. Hey, John, your two cute student council representatives have been trying to make you feel welcome and are even treating you to lunch. You should show your gratitude by joining the council so you can at least help out. Why can't we just yeah, make it? It would be our great goddamn. if you could just file some papers for us. And the festival is coming up, and we have to fill some stalls for the games and the food. Just a few, so if you were there, it would be a lot easier for us. Please, Hee Chan? What an interesting good cop, bad cop routine. I'll give it a shot. Why not? Just a shot. Okay, I'll give it a try. Why are you it doesn't mean I'm joining or anything definite, <laughs> just that I'll help out a little. <laughs> and this makes us even for lunch. I'm not doing this because I want to. I finish off the last Holy of my shit, sandwich. This guy's an asshole. And this makes Misha <laughs> notice for the first time in a while that she has a parfait. She starts digging in, much to Shizune's chagrin, because I can tell from the way she plays with her fingers that she had a lot to say. Every time I look at Shizune, she looks back with such focus and intensity. This time is no exception. Her face is expressionless. Maybe she is thinking. Eventually, it gives way to a smile. She signs something, and obviously I can't understand it at all. She has to know that. Then she does it again, a childish playfulness showing through in the speed and energy of her gestures. Misha, what did she say? Hmm? Misha looks up from her parfait. Torn between wanting to help out and going back to eating. What does this mean? I try to make the best, try my best to make the same movements with my hands that Shizune did. I come to realize quickly that this isn't very easy. Imagine doing this all day as your only means of communication. Hmm. Sorry, Hee-chan. I can't tell you. Why not? Is it an insult? No, Hee-chan. I can't tell you because it means something nice. You're very good at interpreting the little squiggly line things. <laughs> Something nice, huh? Well, they've gone back to their tea and food, so I guess this conversation is over for now. Rip. I, I don't really understand. But this makes me wish that I could. She's Maybe a big I could butt. even try learning sign language. The school might have courses for it. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Would I really do that? I think about it as I finish the rest of my coffee. I wonder why I'd even be motivated to think about it. Because you want it. I'm enjoying myself so much that I don't even notice that we were supposed to be back in class ten minutes ago. Even if I were to start heading back to school right now, it would take at least uh, 30 minutes? Maybe. I can't risk running fast with my condition, so it would take at least that long to get there. Well, ten minutes late already as I am, it wouldn't matter even if I could teleport. Something wrong, Hee-chan? I just realized lunch break ended ten minutes ago. It's only my third day, and I'm already going to miss a class. Yep, you are already late. Ah, but student council. Hey, that's not funny. So are you. And aren't you two in the student council? You're setting a bad example. 
he tan is so moral. But, he chan is right, he is late for class, and it looks like you're cutting too, he chan because you're not going to make an effort to go. As your student council representatives, we're going to have to do something about this and make sure you're punished for it. Oh, that's kinky. <laughs> no need for that. But you two dragged me out here. This is all your fault. Take responsibility. Hey, John, we were just taking a prospective student council member out to try and recruit him. It's business, business. But you're not a member of the council, so there's no uh, excuse. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. That prospective student council member is clearly me. Uh. Yes. Are you going to join the student council, he John? See, this uh... right here. That should be a choice. <laughs> 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 Shizune raises her teacup haughtily and wags her wags her outstretched pinky finger up and down. When in doubt, pinky out. Hey, John. If only you were a member of the student council. But, you can still join now, Hee-chan. If you join now, you won't be in any trouble at all. And we'll be able to take uh, as many more nice excursions like this one all the time. It'll be fun. I start to think that maybe this was all an elaborate setup leading up to this 100%. moment. 100%. Maybe Shizune lured me out here, banking on the possibility that I'd lose track of time and be forced into this situation. It's like when we played Risk all over again. Diabolical. Well, considering what I know of her, I should have been more on my guard. But to admit that I got myself into this, even slightly, would be unforgivable. I try to read Shizune's intentions in her eyes, but she just returns my stare blankly, innocently. She takes a sip of tea like she's mocking me. By the way, Hee-chan, I didn't plan this at all. Things just happened to work out this way. I was almost about to draw my theory as paranoia, but this puts a new spin on things. I almost fall over in awe. So it really was an elaborate setup from the very beginning. All is just to burn me and force me to join the student council. Really burn him. Aha! <laughs> you look so no. nervous, he chan Did you think we were tricking you this whole time? You're not. You're not. <laughs> he chan you really thought? Misha frowns, looking heartbroken. Shizune quickly frowns as well, following her lead. How synchronized. Two of a perfect pair. They must be twins. I ship it. They're she so totally twins. <laughs> Shichan says she's flattered, Hichan. But doing that kind of thing would be grossly inappropriate abuse of power and imposing on your free will. And it would be blackmail too. Shichan would never do anything like that. Never. I think about asking Misha, are you sure? But resist the urge to. Good. Anyway, Hee-chan, what Hee-chan says is true. Since you're with us and we're doing student council work, it's okay if we miss a class or two. Work. Not that this is a good excuse to do so, or the one that should be mu used more than three times a month, or something that can or should be abused. So, we must definitely, definitely return to class. Eventually. <laughs> She's in a waves Yuko over and points to her empty teacup, indicating that she wants another one, as Misha scrambles to finish her parfait so she can order something else. Maybe I should as well. I'm still hungry, and the portions here are a little on the small side. Most importantly, Shizune is paying for everything. With that in mind, I ask Yuko oh for another God, sandwich. This guy's a fucking <laughs> asshole. This guy. By the time we leave the tea shop, I've missed not just one class, but two. Hassel, please. She's Don't in worry, Amisha seems content rich. to let the whole day pass by, stalling for even more time by suggesting a tour of the town that turns out to cover a two-block radius from where we start. Eventually, we do go back to school, and the rest of the day is business as usual. When classes are over, Shizune and Misha pack their bags and leave the room before me. Come to think of it, this is the first time they've left me alone. It's strange. I almost miss them. The room empties quickly, and I'm the last one out the door. When I try leaving the lobby, however, an arm lowers itself in front of me like a toll bridge gate, stopping me in my tracks. Oh, hi, Shizune. A pair of hands from behind cover my eyes, followed by a sharp burst of laughter. Surprise, but sex. Hi, he John. Guess who? Shizune! <laughs> Misha asked the question completely <laughs> without sarcasm, meaning she doesn't think that I instantly knew it was her for many obvious reasons. 
Uh, I wonder who it could be. Well, it's definitely not Misha. Ha ha ha! It is! Misha swings around to stand in front of me beside Shizune. Hey, John, are you busy right now? Busy going to my room, yeah. <laughs> See you two tomorrow. Stay there, nerd. <laughs> I try to make a break for it, but Shizune is too agile to get past. As someone who used to play soccer, this is embarrassing. Not to mention that this behavior is drawing some odd looks. I should just quit while I'm ahead. Hey, John, could you please go upstairs and get a few things for us from the art room? Oh, my fucking god! Why me? Ha ha ha! She chan thinks that if the art teacher sees us, he will say hi, and she doesn't like him. Logan, this is actually important. <laughs> well, ignore him. She tried, but even though she chan is tough, he'll try to say hi. Anyways. Uh, run away? <laughs> I never run! A tone of finality so strong that I could pick it up even through Misha. I see there is no use pursuing this further with Shizune. Misha, why can't you get them? Stairs make me dizzy, he chan. What? <laughs> <laughs> Shizune nods as if to confirm it. Please, he chan? We need these things to build stalls for the festival, and you said you would help out a little, right? Right? I really shouldn't, but I guess just this once would be alright. Okay. That's great, Heat-chan! Thank you! This is what we need. She holds out a piece of paper for me to take. I'm sure this list was made by Shizune. It's handwritten, but each letter, letter is perfectly formed and uniform, as if it were typed. Not just that, but it's exhaustively detailed, complete with numbers, bullet points, and even little checkboxes. Well then. What it boils down to is that she wants paint, paint brushes, poster board, and an easel. Just different types and specific numbers of each. I wonder how I'm going to carry all this stuff down the stairs without breaking my neck. RIP. 